So, here I am. It's been a long time. Um, wow. I feel almost speechless. I feel like I don't know what to say. Um, it's weird because I feel like this is like the first time that I've ever been on camera. And it's so not, but, um, hi guys. It's me. Um, here I am in the flesh. Uh, and I wanted to come and talk to you for a little while. First off. How are you guys? How are you? How- what has been going on? How was your Friday? How has been your summer? Well, it's actually fall, so... How was your summer? And now how is the beginning of your fall? Um... I want to say I'm sorry for not being here for the whole entire summer, pretty much. I- I really- I- I'm sorry for that. Um... So much has happened, and I know you're probably like, you say that every time, Melissa, but for real, um, oh god, so much has happened. Health-wise, it's, uh, my health is not good. Um, a lot of doctors, a lot of appointments, just trying to get through every day as best as I can. I've been getting a lot of emails and a lot of um, uh, comments and you know whatnot asking me where I am and if I'm okay and I honestly felt like I felt I felt like I needed to come on and talk to you just face to face and have a real conversation for a little while kind of like how we used to do you know we used to just sit down have our talks and I want to do that so. Um, gosh, where do I start? I feel like I don't even know where to start with anything right now. Um, I got two new tattoos. Um, they're in the, my back here, so I don't know how I'm going to show you, but, um, <laughs> one's a quote right here. It's right here. And then the other one is right here. Um, it is a snail seashell. I'm hoping you can see that. It's not done yet, though. So, um... It's not done yet, so... <laughs> it's it's still a work in progress, and so is my hand. My hand is not done yet. I'm getting it done next month. Um, so, there's some updates on my tattoos for you. You know... I felt bad that I haven't really said much to you guys all summer, and I honestly was just, I've been in a really, really bad spot, and uh, trying to get through every day has just been tough, and my anxiety's been bad, my depression's been bad, uh, my eating disorder has been really, really off the charts and all messed up and, and whatnot, um, along with a billion other health issues that I've been having tests for, and you know, inside hospitals and doctors, and I, I feel like I literally live in hospitals all the time, and it's it's not fun. It's really not. It's it's sad and it's scary, and I don't like hospitals. So you know what? Everybody's been I've been having this conversation with people about what does anxiety feel like to you? If you suffer from anxiety, what does it feel like to you? Um, I had a friend that posted something on Facebook stating if you have anxiety or panic attacks, what do you feel in one word or a sentence? What do you feel that, how do you feel when you have your anxiety? Um, and you know, for me, I feel like I can't breathe, my heart races, I feel dizzy. I feel nauseous, I feel like I'm gonna pass out, um, you know, and people just don't really understand anxiety, and they just think that it's just being nervous, and it's, that, that's not the case, it's so much more than just being nervous about something. You have all of these side effects and these emotional feelings in your body that you can't control, you, you can't, and that's the thing about anxiety is that you cannot control it, and people think that 
they're just like, just calm down. Well, you can't. At least for me, I I can't just calm down. It's not, it's not like that. Some people need medications for anxiety and panic attacks. I take anxiety medication. Um, I don't take depression medication because I'm allergic to SSRIs, SSNIs, MAOs, MAIOs. I don't know exactly what it's called, um, but I'm allergic to all of those. Um, I can't take any of them. I will. My throat will close. I'll get hives, and I can't breathe, and it's it's, it's, it's really bad. So I don't take any antidepressants. Um, I do just take uh, Xanax for my anxiety and for my panic disorders, um, and that's it. That's all I take. Um, and, you know, I'm just kind of sick of people just saying, just calm down. You know, like, are you going to tell a cancer patient to just get better? Like, no, you, it, it's, <sighs> sadly, it doesn't work that way. And people don't see that. They just think that, you know, it's, you are just nervous and it's, it, you're not just nervous. And, uh. I feel like I can't even really explain it, you know, if there's just this part that takes over your body and controls you and you have no control over anything at all. I thought I would actually hold this for a second. Um, my neck is killing me. So I have this lump, I think I showed, told you guys last time, this lump here that I had biopsied and now I'm waiting for the results and it's just been scary and, and all that. But um. I'm just not well physically, um, or really emotionally. I was having, I had a therapist that, uh, I was seeing for a very long time and she left the agency that I was at, um, in August. So now I'm trying to transition from that therapist to this new therapist and it's, it's tough. It's, it's not easy. Um, it's not that I don't like the new therapist. It's it's more that I don't feel comfortable yet. Um, I've only been seeing her for three weeks, so there's that. Uh, you know, you gotta feel comfortable with the with the therapist before you can really just start to work on things and talk about your problems. So I also wanted to show you something that somebody made for me. I thought that was really cool. Um, you know, how I always say, "Be cool, be kind, don't judge." At the end of my videos. Um, somebody had made this stone for me out of clay. Super cute. It's just clay. So I have it over here with all of my other stones, since I love stones and rocks and all that stuff. So I have it up here with my other one. I'll probably wind up dropping it now. Um, I feel like I'm completely all over the map in this video, but, um, really it was kind of a spear, 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 spur, spur of the moment, uh, video. I really wasn't planning it at all. I just decided to come on and just kind of ramble about stuff. I miss you guys, you know, and I really just wanted to say hi and I love you and I miss you and thank you for all the messages and the gifts and... <sighs> Just lovely people, and all the birthday wishes in August when it was my birthday. Um, you know, thank you, it really truly means a lot to me. I am still here, um, I'm not active on YouTube that much, and I'm sorry for that. I am active on Instagram and Twitter, um, but other than that, YouTube has kind of been put on the back burner for a little while. Taking doing videos has been really, really just too much pressure for me right now. <clears throat> So I haven't been making any of those, but I promise I will try to make more as I start to feel a little bit more in a better place. Um, I got these new tunnels, which I thought are really amazingly awesome, if that's even a phrase, but they're anchors. This one's a white one, and this one is a black one. I thought they were really cute. Everybody been, I feel like I cannot speak at all. Um, people have been asking me what size gauges I'm at. I'm at a double zero, and that's as high as I'm going to go, high or as low as I'm going to go. Um, I'm not going to go any higher. I'm not going to make them any bigger. I like them like this. That's it. That's all they're going to be, as big as they're going to be. Um, but yeah, so there's that too. 
but I love you guys. I hope that you have a good weekend. Um, leave some comments down below and let me know what you would like me to talk about in my next actual like video um, instead of just like a rambling update. Uh, but I feel like I owed it to you guys, <clears throat> especially to the ones that were sending me emails and asking me where I was and if I was okay. And, you know, I'm here. I, I see you. I'm here. Uh, I just haven't really been active on here. So I'm sorry for that. But uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your continuing support all the time. Uh, you're all just truly amazing people. Um, and uh, yeah, but um, peace and love to you. I love you guys. I said it already, but I'm going to say it again. Um, be cool, be kind, don't judge. And until next time. Keep your head up high. I love you.